Some of the world's largest companies send their customers a special email on their birthday. These emails are generally filled with a discount or sometimes even gifts. In this MailChimp tutorial, I'll show you how to create an automated birthday email. This email will be sent out automatically to any customer that has shared their birthday information with you. If you don't already have your customer's birthday information, you can add a birthday field to your signup form so that you can at least collect that data going forward. Once you're signed into MailChimp, head on over to the Create icon or the Pencil icon over on the left-hand side. From there, simply click on the Email option. Then, head on over to the Automated tab. As you can see here, we do have several different options. We're going to go ahead and click on the Say Happy Birthday option. Now, go ahead and give your campaign a name. and then select the audience that you'd like to send this email out to. Once you've done that, go ahead and click on the Begin button. So this next screen will help us determine when the email will be sent out. And as you can see here, the email will be triggered based on the person's birthday. It will be sent to this audience. And a little bit further down on the page, we can determine the trigger. So right now it's going to send out one day before their birthday. If you'd like, you can go ahead and edit this. And you can do things like send it out perhaps a week before their birthday, or you can send the email out on their actual birthday. So go ahead and make your selection and then click on the update trigger button in the top right corner. And then as of right now, it will send out at 9 a.m. Feel free to change that as well if you'd like. And again, once you've made your changes, hit that save button. And once you're happy with your settings and selections, you can go ahead and click on the design email button. Next, we'll go ahead and enter the appropriate information into the following fields. The first one is an internal name for your email. You can really name this whatever you want as no one outside of your company is going to be able to see it. Next, we have the email subject line. So go ahead and give your happy birthday email a nice subject line. And then we can also enter the preview text. Now this is a snippet of text that will appear in the inbox after the subject line. You've probably seen them before in your own inbox. The next field is the from name. Now this can either be your name or perhaps your company name. And then last but not least, we have the from email address. Once you're done entering all of your information, Go ahead and click on the next button in the bottom right hand corner. Next, we'll go ahead and select a template. Now MailChimp does a pretty awesome job of creating a bunch of layouts for you. So you can select one from this page. You can also look through the different themes that are available as well. And it's completely up to you whether you'd like to use a layout or a theme. For this example, I'm going to go ahead and choose this theme here. And the great thing with MailChimp is that everything is already laid out for you. We just basically have to plug and play with our own content. Starting at the top of the email, we can go ahead and start replacing some of the content simply by clicking on it and then hitting replace. For this email, we're going to go ahead and use this logo here. However, if you don't see your logo already uploaded into MailChimp, you can add it by clicking on the upload button. Now, once you've selected your image, go ahead and hit insert. As you can see, the logo is rather large, so we can go ahead and scale it on the right hand side. You can also do things like add a link to the logo. Perhaps you'd like to link to your website, but this is completely optional. If you're happy with the size of the logo, let's go ahead and click on the save and close button down at the bottom. Next, we'll go ahead and update things like the image as well as the rest of the text. And to change the image, we'll go ahead and hit the replace link here and then upload our image. And next, we'll go ahead and update the text. So simply double click on the text over here on the right hand side and replace it with whatever you'd like. In this case, we may also want to change the background color here. And to do that, we'll head on up to the Style tab. 
From there, head on down to background and go ahead and select a new color. Once you're happy with your text as well as the background color, simply hit the save and close button. If we scroll down, we can see the rest of the email here and we can continue replacing the content. When we choose a template from MailChimp, there may be parts of the template that we don't actually want to use. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the delete button to get rid of it. Or let's say that the template that you chose doesn't have a button or another element that you want and you'd like to add it. All you have to do is choose from the blocks over here on the right hand side and drag and drop the element that you'd like to add. From there, go ahead and enter all of the information on the right hand side. You'll want to enter things like the button text along with the URL. You can also do things like change the color and the style of the button. And once you're done updating your button, go ahead and click on the save and close button. The text and the button are a bit close to one another, so I'm going to go ahead and add a divider. And then from there, we'll go ahead and decrease the padding just a little bit. And instead of it being a solid border, we'll change it to none so that it's really just extra space. And then moving along here with the template, you can continue replacing all of the content. Or if you'd rather just have a nice, short, sweet birthday email, you can actually delete a lot of it, which is what I'm going to do here. If you're done with replacing all of the content, head on up to preview and test to preview your email. Over here on the right hand side, we have the subject line along with the preview text. And then over here on the left hand side, of course, we have the actual email. So go ahead and have a look over and just make sure that everything looks okay. Up at the top, you can also view the mobile version. To get out of the preview mode, simply hit the X in the top right hand corner. And if there were any edits that you wanted to make before saving your email, you can go ahead and do that. So for example here, I'm going to go ahead and bold the promo code. And then hit save and close. And then from there, I'm happy with my email and I'm done making my changes. So I'll go ahead and hit the save and continue button down here in the bottom right. From there, go ahead and click on the next button. Then have a quick look over the information to make sure that everything is correct and then hit the start sending button. Then hit start sending. And there you have it. You've got an automated birthday email that's ready to send out to your customers. Be sure to subscribe to the Easter Kings YouTube channel for more MailChimp tutorials along with digital marketing tips and tricks.